So we start off with a basic piece of clay and give it a fair bit of moulding in the hand first and then we can penetrate the clay and start working it with the fingers and thumbs. This is another piece. The clay for this one was a little bit hard and though, so it was did come out with a few lumps and bumps which have to be then smoothed and worked on. So it's best to start with something small to get the hang of it. Here I'm smoothing off some of the lumps with a tool. further smoothing and rubbing it takes quite a long time. I'm using a bit of water there to smooth and rub it to create a smooth surface. And I knocked down the top a little, flattened it and now I've got to take out the unevennesses in the, in the thickness. So it's getting pretty smooth now. You just have to keep working until you feel satisfied with it. Okay, now I'm going to do some leaf decorations on here. Using a tool. Smoothing as I go. Using another tool, I'm going to be making some finer detail on the leaves. Make sure they're thoroughly dry before you do fire them and then when, when they're bisque fired this is how they come out. A few eggs that I've made. I really enjoy decorating them. In fact, all of these things are just an excuse for something to decorate as far as I'm concerned. But Using underglaze to create the designs and in the colours. Thank you. 
Next process is to glaze them. I used a fairly small container here because I was running out of glaze, but and it's a little bit thin as well. I'm trying hand painting it on some and dipping some. So I'm dipping the egg there. To settles out fairly quickly that's why I'm stirring it to keep the uh, keep the chemicals suspended in the water while I do dip and here's the first firing that I did Turned out 